Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. It is Inktober Day 10 already which is crazy and here is the selection of varying inks that I used for throughout this video. I kept it pretty simple but yeah as you can tell from the thumbnail today's character is Poison Ivy. We are sticking with that theme this week which is comic book characters or ladies of the comic book world and once again if you guys would like to join in and have your art featured at the end of my videos please feel free to create your own comic book fan art and tag me over on Instagram at greatly geeky or even use the hashtag geeky's theme of the week and I will definitely be posting your art. The only other thing that I ask that you guys do is to make sure that you give me permission on your post so that I know it's okay for me to add it to my videos. I just want to make sure, you know, that you guys are okay with it before I just go ahead and put it up there. But anyways, today's was a lot of fun and it was, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of Poison Ivy and Catwoman and Harley Quinn, the Gotham Girls. Um, especially the old school style, which is why I chose to do her outfit the way she did. This is based off of the 90s Batman animated series. A lot of times, if you'll see me draw those three characters, primarily that is the design that I love to draw them in. Every now and then, I'll kind of switch it up and do a, my own kind of variation in the sense of like a lingerie kind of feel or other kinds of styles, but typically I love to go with that old school style that I more so grew up with. <laughs> and I tried with today and in today's video to even get a little bit of more of a close up with doing the sketching and everything. I tried to kind of zoom in when I had the chance and when I was working in small areas so that you guys could see more of the finer details as I go along and work. And it also kind of helps me a little bit because I don't have to um, stick so far away from the piece. A lot of times when I'm drawing by myself and not filming, I'm like three inches from the paper. So I've gotten kind of accustomed, especially after doing as many videos as I have, to being able to kind of sit back and do the work on the piece without having to be like three inches from the paper. <laughs> but every so often like it's a lot it helps me a lot to kind of get a little closer and be able to kind of slowly do that fine detail work now I used the Arnhem paper again for this one the 1618 cotton paper and I love the way that the red lays but I will say and I'm not sure if it is just the ink for the green or if it's a combination of the paper, but for whatever reason, even with me having my green mixed up and the pigment all fully mixed, it kind of laid a little bit more uh, distorted, I guess, than I would hope for, which granted isn't a big deal. I just kind of built on layers and got to the color and tone that I wanted it to be, but it was one of those where with that kind of ink, in this kind of paper, more of a wash for the green looked better than doing the solid pigmented ink, which kind of happens sometimes. Some inks um, and some colors will lay out more of like a clean, smooth pigment, vice others, or sometimes the pigment works better if you mix it with a little bit of water and you do a, kind of a clean wash with it. And that's just from my own personal experience in working with the liquid inks and kind of getting a feel for these kind of inks and pigments. So it's been a lot of fun. I do love doing these. I've had a lot of fun working with the different colors because it's kind of gotten me to learn all the different types of what kind of inks I feel I love the most, what kinds lay in what different ways and how they kind of work with the paper and everything and it's been really interesting and a lot of fun and I love how this piece turned out. I think the only thing I would do differently for myself 
even though I do love the way that it looks, is I think I would start with a lighter wash for the hair. I do love going in and just being bold with the red hair and having fun with it, but considering I had to do more of a wash with the outfit on, like with the green, it kind of would have made more sense to do the red, but being that I laid the red first, I kind of expected the green to almost lay in a similar way with the pigment being super strong. So it's hit and miss. It really just depends sometimes, and that's kind of how it works. But I still love the way and effect that I was able to get using this. I used a technique with the hair that I kind of figured out a couple weeks back when using the red is that I go through here and I lay down some of my brush pen and while it's still somewhat ink or somewhat ink somewhat wet I take some of the red ink that I laid already and I kind of brush in the black with it and then I do the same thing with white so I use the black ink from the brush pen with red ink for the hair and darken up areas and then I use a white gel pen and the red ink to lighten up areas and it's kind of an interesting process something I, I kind of had to figure out for myself when I had um, laid some flat color that I was trying to develop and I was using only inks but I think overall it adds a bit more volume and a bit more look to the hair itself so it doesn't necessarily look as just a single flat color. I did love what I chose to do for the background when I was laying the first kind of spirals back there. I was so hesitant because the first few I laid down, I was like, oh, this looks cheesy. But <laughs> as I kind of built up and got more laid down, I was like, oh, okay, this has the effect that I was wanting to go for, which in that respect is I wanted to try and add a, a kind of a viney looking background or more of like a a natural type of background because she is poison ivy and I didn't want it to be something that stood out too much. I want it to be more faded. So doing something like this I feel had that kind of effect that I was going for but it kept it really nice and soft and added the look that I want. And then the thing that I wasn't planning on doing but I did and I love the way that it turned out is I went through and I sharpened a lot of the like deep shadows and I added some heavy thick lines like under her chin around like her arms and the pockets you know everywhere where there's like a deep shadow I really took a, a pen and just kind of deepened it up a green pen for her pants a dark green pen for her outfit and I think all together it came out extremely well and worked out a little bit more so in my favor but here she is I think she came out really great and I'm excited about this one and I hope that you guys are too. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take it easy and I will see you in the next video.